Hola, bienvenido. Welcome back. Hi, it's Maria. And you guys aren't going to believe what I'm looking at right now. I'm sorry, but this seems almost unreal. <laughs> it is so quiet here. And so peaceful. Like, I mean, if anything, I can hear people from, like, far, far, far away, or, like, walking along these ledges here. And they're the only sounds I can hear. And the fact that they're so far away, but I can still hear them is just insane. So the Snowden trip and this trip have completely been spontaneous. They weren't, they weren't planned, they weren't organised, I didn't plan anything, I literally... With Snowden, I expected myself to go there and come back in the same day. But then I saw some bed and breakfasts. I saw some cute little hostels. So I just decided, fuck it, I'm just going to stay. <laughs> um, this week, I had a few days off and... Literally this morning I woke up and I was like, okay, where am I going? I'm going somewhere. I need to leave Manchester. I need to leave the city and get back to nature again because the Snowden trip was... I can't describe how... how good it made me feel. So I'm here. I still don't know what I'm doing. But... With this view, I don't need to know. I'll figure it out tomorrow. I still can't get over how quiet it is. Like it's so quiet, it feels like pressure in my ears. I love it. To be surrounded by such astounding natural beauty, everything seemed to just stop. Even my own thoughts seemed to dissipate like ripples in my mind. Almost as if the longer I stayed there, the less important my thoughts appeared to be. I did nothing else but watch the sun brush its final glow over the face of the mountain. With the sun singing its lullaby and the water beneath reflecting all the colours, it was like they both understood the power and the strength of the land.
To experience the vengeful torment of the conditions of the day before, watching the sun stretch out its arms to welcome in the morning reminded me that eventually peace returns. It in itself was proof that even mother nature has a bad days. And that's okay. Without the rain, the carpets of grass coating these towering mountains couldn't grow or sustain their wildlife. Without the storm, even the lake would dry up in thirst. Sometimes beauty and chaos come hand in hand and all we have to do is find the balance. This is what this trip meant to me. Finding balance and grounding my heart.